Passover, often firefighters go to classes, whether it be their basic fire class, and they hear a little bit about flashover, they may see an article somewhere in the paper of flashover, but do really firefighters ever truly understand the meaning of flashover? In most cases, not. What you see here today is firefighters are taking a full and encompassed course on flashovers. Not only are they taking a lecture end of it, but they're also getting flashes live firsthand inside the fire container. Flashovers are a deadly type of event. There's only four warning signs that may or may not be present. If you're not out there looking for them, you're going to miss them. And you're going to get firefighters injured and killed in the line of duty because they failed to recognize the potentials and the deadly effect of a flashover type of event. have come from a lecture end where they've been all taught about flashover types of events, how they're going to occur, and what the warning signs they need to look for. Now they're sitting inside of a container in those live same events. They're down here in the lower end of the box, and as you can see that violent smoke coming out, that's what they're being taught to look for. They're taught to be understanding how the smoke is going to change, where the smoke is going to go, and what's going to make that smoke turn into flames. In the upper part of the box is where all the fire actually happens. Students are not up in that upper corner, they would be severely injured and or killed because of the amount of fire and heat that they take in that upper box. Instructors down here in the lower end of the container are controlling the environment inside so that it keeps it safe for the students. If not, the student would not even be able to survive in the container that it is as is. What's going on now is they're opening and closing the back door. By doing that, they're feeding air into the fire to allow the fire to reach its flashover potential. By closing the door, they'll start it with oxygen. By opening the vent, they're drawing the flash out over the student's head. Then what they're doing is they're controlling the environment, they're making the flash diminish, they're resetting the whole operation and then they're moving the students in the container so that every student is up front getting first-hand knowledge of what to look for and what to see as far as the warning signs of a flashover type of event. So if, if you've taken any type of flashover training and you haven't had a thorough and comprehensive lecture as well as the hands-on part of it, you've been robbed of good flashover training. You need to come out here, take flashover training, listen to the lecture, understand what you're going to see inside the container, and actually spend 45 minutes inside the container witnessing and seeing flashovers live right over your head. Thank you.